Hello, hello, my name is Crucimix, and one might think I'm dead to the world because I haven't uploaded in almost a week, and for a commentary YouTuber, that's like treason. Luckily for me, I only have a handful of fans, so I'm not really disappointing anyone. I just have 17 bot accounts. No one watching this video is a real person. It's all me. It's always me. But if I intend to entertain myself any further, and escape the threshold of 17 subscribers, I must first do the unthinkable, the unfathomable, the unquestionably, undoubtedly, impractical thing that is making fun of PNG YouTubers. See, no one else in the commentary community has even thought of this. And while in the past I've talked about PNG YouTubers maybe once or twice, I haven't really been mean to them. See, uh, with the Jelly Bean situation, I just talked about how much I liked the skeletons making fun of her. I never really, uh, really, never really made fun of her myself, and for the Meowba situation, I just liked Meowba. I, there, there was no problem. That was just like 10 minutes of me sucking Meowba's proverbial or possibly real cock. So I haven't really done what everyone else has done yet. I haven't really made fun of any PNG YouTubers. I've just kind of taken a piss at them. Little pot shots. Not really, not really gone and taken one on head for head. But this time I see one that absolutely revolts me. Someone who just completely disgusts me. Just everything about them makes my skin crawl. Some people's voices are like nails on a chalkboard. This person's voice is more like getting nailed to a chalkboard chalkboard, as in like getting crucified to the chalkboard, like sitting in front of the class and bleeding out, dying for their sins on the chalkboard. Their name is Frostfox, and this person both annoys and unsettles me. So of course I chose them as a subject for a video so that I could subject myself to every form of torture in the world, and while it's 10 minutes for you, remember that it's absolute agony and hours for me where I have to listen to this person's voice over and over again. Just know that you're only spending one one billionth of the hatred I have on this person. So for your viewing discretion, I have selected seven of the finest videos that I could find, and definitely not the first seven that I saw on their channel. Yes, today we have seven videos, which might not sound like a lot, but but uh, for me, it will be. I lost my Reading your terrible food takes from Twitter. Dear God, what have I gotten us into? Food as a whole is overrated. Yeah, I can agree with this. Just start drinking that Wally soda they have instead. Peanut butter just sucks. Okay, your opinion is so wrong. Thanks to peanut butter, we have the greatest crossover of all time. Peanut butter and chocolate. Frostfox seems like the kind of guy to cross over between peanut butter and his pet dog. Catch up on tacos. As a Hispanic creator, you have no taste. You cannot convince it's me spicy food tastes good. I agree with the statement. Spicy food is just bad, okay? And it hurts my mouth so much. Being Hispanic and not enjoying spicy food has to be at least equally as bad as putting ketchup onto a taco, I'm just saying. Also, I don't know about you, but like the way he uh, just <laughs> said, oh, it hurts my mouth. Like, oh, oh, fucking disgusting, dude. I don't know why that just gives me the heebie-jeebies. That fucks me up. That gives me the willies, dude. That doesn't, that's unsettling. I don't like that. Pizza is gross. Okay, y'all just had some bad pizza, all right? I put macaroni in my tacos. I can't believe you actually do this. You need to eat actual food. That was just 40 seconds of Frostfox speaking. Now imagine, if you will, that they made a two hour long video essay. Me, personally, if that happened, I would have to marry Courtney Love if you catch my drift. There's something in my gun. Kaboom! Guys! Guys! You know Ranbu? Still gonna call him that. Well, just recently, he came out as being part of the LGBTQ plus community of being gay. Nah, nah, Frostfox, you don't understand. There's a difference. See, that guy's a homosexual, but you're just gay. There's absolutely no problem with being homosexual, but, uh, Frostfox, you're gay. There's, there's, a, there's a complete difference here. There's a complete, uh, separation between these two things. Think of it like your parents when they, they separated when you were young. I, gu I guarantee they did. You see, your mom is gay, but your dad is just homosexual. You understand the difference now, bud? And I just want to say that I'm very proud of him. Along with saying that he is valid and supported, as I am part of the LGBTQ plus community as well for being bi and non-binary. So Rambo, keep being you and you rock. You're valid and amazing like always, Rambo. There are a multitude of jokes I would like to make, but I cannot, sadly, because we are on YouTube and I would rather not lose my 17 subscriber channel, but you know what I would say here. Guys, apparently I'm in the Urban Dictionary? Yeah, actually you are in the Urban Dictionary. You were one of the first words added. Can you believe it? Can you believe I made that joke? That dar I just, I literally just said, don't make a joke like that in the last thing I said. <laughs> now I immediately went back on it. I pretend. 
pretend I didn't make this joke. The Urban Dictionary is a site where you can add your own phrases in there with your own definitions. And there's one for PNG tubers, which says, when a young Twitter user who enjoys a dream SMP with no father who makes crappy commentary on random things or starts a cringy cult with YouTube comments of their choosing, they also get an army of fatherless five-year-olds looking up to them. Such large PNG tubers are Jellybean, Red Velvety, and Furry Fox. Wait, what? Why does everyone misspell my name? The Urban Dictionary description of your uh, career is pretty accurate, actually. There's there's not much to say here, not much to interject with. Uh, you're garbage, and it's absolutely right about you. Guys! I cannot get over the fact that that's how he introduces himself every single time. Guys! I am taking over Minecraft social media. Remember how I turned Aoden into a furry? Well, I've been doing it to a lot of other creators as well. If I was born with a voice like this, I would perpetually be smoking just to get rid of it, just to do anything I could possibly do to change my voice. Mostly Omarmu, Sambob, Guts Lovers, and just so much more creators. My conquest of turning all Minecraft creators into furries shall continue, making me unstoppable! Well, how about we do a funny thing? Let the games begin. Okay, this is what I meant by, uh, his videos fucking terrify me. They unsettle me. They really cause me to sweat because this is... <laughs> this, shit, this is so fucking sinister and disturbing. It, like, really think about how he's speaking here. It's... It does not shake the, uh, idea that Minecraft YouTubers like to groom people and the fact that he's, like, flaunting, turning other people into furries. Like, I understand the context. It's supposed to be, you know, pretty funny, pretty, uh, pretty amiable, but Jesus fuck, dude. <laughs> it really fucks with me. I don't like this at all. Everything about this person makes me fucking, like, it, it gives off every possible red flag of a person who abuses children, and, like, I'm not saying he is. I'm not saying he is, but gee, he has every single one of them. <laughs> not that he's gonna be the next one to do it but one of these PNG tubers is going to groom one of their fans or several of their fans into sending them nudes and it's going to happen fucking soon. In fact, it's probably already happening. It's just going to come out soon. I guarantee it. Guys, remember when I said people think I look like Tails? You don't look like Tails. You look like someone who should be called Gordo in a back alley in El Paso. I guarantee it. Tu eres Gordo como la mierda. Apparently, now people say I look like Sonic the Hedgehog himself. Thanks to color of my character being blue and all, y'all have associated me with Sonic more than Tails. But if it isn't clearly obvious, I'm a fox like Tails. You're not a fox either, you're a fag fabulous person. So in order to solve this, comment down below if I look like Sonic or Tails more. And y'all better say I look like Tails or you won't be getting any strawberry cheesecake for dessert tonight. Holy shit, I know as a kid I had like low standards for what I found funny, but no fucking way anyone enjoys this content that is above the age of like three. Guys, I did something really evil. Your very existence is evil, Frost Fox. Y'all know my friend Aoden? A while ago, he said the most liked image will be his profile picture for a week. And since I'm not a furry, I submitted this image and won. Aoden was resistant at first, but after some convincing, he changed it. This is a certified Frost W. Holy shit, why did you word it like that? He was resisted at first, and <laughs> why? Why would you say it like that? It couldn't be any more fucking, like, blatant <laughs> if you were driving a white van. Dude, stop it. Stop doing this. You're fucking with me. Get out of my head, man. Don't be messing with your head. Get out of my head, man. No, nobody's messing with your head, man. Nobody's messing with your head. Whew. Thank fuck. There's only one left. Atomic penetration rapid fire through your skull. Guys, I think all Australians are British Texans. Hey, we really do have something in common. See, you think all Australians are British Texans, and I think all furries belong in a cross, so me and a couple of my Roman Centurion buddies are gonna go nail you to one, you fucking- GT responds to my video about them not being a British Texan, but they are. But they are! Nobody's voice actually sounds like this. You're, you're just fucking with us. Holy shit. There are so many similarities to Australia and Texas. They have the Outback, while we have the Wild West. They have, like, a Southern British accent, while we have a Texan accent. No fucking way you're from Texas. I refuse to believe someone who has a voice like yours and such a sinister speech pattern could possibly be from the American South, the greatest place in this fucking world. There's no way. And they have whatever the heck fairy bread and black marmalade are. Wow, we love our food big in Texas. But yeah, all Australians are British Texans. Also, G3, what do you mean I'm blushing? 
Like, why the fuck did he say big like that? It's so fucking sensual. Everything he says is so disgusting. It's so putrid. It's so fucking malicious. I know it's all designed just to fuck with me in particular. Hey, so you know how I said there were going to be seven clips? Well, I lied. Apparently it's eight. I just can't count. Foxes are continuing their takeover of Minecraft YouTube. Let me explain. Like my ancestors who fought off the Anglo-Saxons as they attempted to invade our homeland of Ireland, I'd like to assure you that I'm here to fight for you to keep these foxes from taking over our perfect home of YouTube. I may not have been born in time to kill Margaret Thatcher, but I will live to fight against these foxes for you and for everyone on this platform who deserves the chance to live without this putrid fucking voice ringing in their ears for all of time. Remember how I told y'all foxes have been popping out of nowhere making Minecraft videos? Well, there's even more of them now. <laughs> There is good old Fundy, a friendly Minecraft fox that really loves to code a lot of stuff. Curse your impossible Minecraft mod. Then we have CPK, another amazing fox who recently got into the Dream SMP. Oh my god, did you hear that? He recently got into the Dream SMP. <laughs> and then there's Yellow Wolf. Wait, aren't they a wolf? Um, just think of them as a fox in denial, okay? Okay, it has to be fucking intentional at this point, because the way he said, just think of them as a fox in denial, and then, like, <laughs> the okay but angry face, he knows, he knows he's grooming people, that's what this is suggesting to me, this is him fucking bragging, it has to be. This is like a fucking CIA agent saying, don't lose your head to JFK two weeks before he gets assassinated, holy shit. So why don't you become a fox today? One of us, one of us. Well, that was it. That was our eighth and final clip for the day. Now, I would like to say, if you are a fan of this Frost Fox character, uh, please, please tell your parents. Please get away from them as soon as possible. I understand you think you should be angry at me. I am not your enemy. I'm looking out for you. Please get away from them. They're going to try and sell you something you don't want to buy. Anyway, my name is, has been, and will be Crucimix in the foreseeable future, so please, if you somehow found it within your heart to enjoy some amount of the things you've heard today, then please, please, consider subscribing. I love you. Goodbye. Kids, there's nothing more cool than being hugged by someone you like. But if someone tries to touch you in a place or in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable, that's no good. It's your body. No one has the right to touch you if you don't want them to. So what do you do? First, you say no. Then you suplex him, put him in a camel clutch, break his back, and then fuck his ass, make him humble, to hear the spot dog. Boomerang from Cartoon Network.